Oh, we're back in Japan, and what a spot for Eric Milo to follow the act of Elvis Stoiko. Milo in fifth place, former French champion, a veteran skater who is looking for his first world medal. His best result ever was seventh. This is a skater that is very exciting. He's got great speed into his jumps. He does great triple-triple combinations, but he just has a hard time putting it together when it counts. He's just on the verge. Here's a triple Lutz combination. That was to be a triple toe on the end with a double. triple loop combination that's not one you see very often It's not happening for him out tonight, out here tonight. And it's a shame because I think this is the type of program that would really bring the house down if he were to put it all together.
he has landed the easier triples that have been in the back half of this program, the Sal, the Toe, the Loop. But when you don't nail at least one triple axel in this league of competition, you're not playing with the big boys. Well, he's the type of skater that we would call a practice skater. He wins all the practices. He's brilliant. His coach, Anik Gagawe, says he's the hardest worker she's ever seen. Here's a look at the triple flip, triple loop combination. That is a difficult combination because he takes off the second jump without planting his toe. Let's look at one of his attempted triple axles, and he just was never rotating around the middle of his body instead of around his right side. Marks for Eric Milo when we come back. We're back in Japan awaiting the marks of Eric Milo, and as we've seen him over the years, we've seen him skate well. It seems in one phase of each competition, but the other not as successful either. Technical merit marks are 5-2 to 5-6. Low mark there is from his own French judge. And the artistic marks a little bit better. He has three fourths, three fifths. And right now he is fourth place overall.